Vernanda. Nice to see you before. Hi, nice to see you. To see you my daughter. I'm Karen Kramer. Okay. And this is Jennifer, our, my daughter. Okay. Stanley Kramer's family. Famous Kramer family. <laughs> well, thank this you. isn't Kramer versus Kramer. No, no, no. no. Guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> it's more like <laughs> no. What's your best memory of Sydney? Oh goodness! Everybody's going to ask me that tonight. Oh really? No, they do. Um, Jennifer says it best. I, I, you know, he wasn't just an actor. He wasn't just a star. He was. He was a force. <laughs> he was a force of nature, and uh, I don't think he ever felt like he was. But he was. He paved the way for everyone to follow him. And I think there were times he felt uncomfortable with that. And, uh, but, but then, and then I, people say this all the time, never going to be another Sydney. Never going to be another Oprah either. Yeah. I mean, these two people were, were more than just uh, personalities. They were, they had a light around them, a special light. He was like so, a beacon. Oh, yeah. The seas part. Yes. But for him. And for her, too. So what a great combination this film's going to be tonight. I can't wait to see it. Okay. I saw it. It's incredible. I'm sure it is. It's, it's amazing. It's going to win an Oscar. Well, it should. It, should. it, <laughs> it should. absolutely should. Got my vote. I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> but I like the people that are involved with it, of course. Yeah. So. And what's your best memory of from the past with Sidney Poitier? Um, well, I can say overall, you know, every time he walked into a room, no matter how many times I had seen him, um, it was like seeing or uh, uh, coming in contact with his presence again, which just w was like a beacon. He had such humanity and such grace and such a presence. Um, and at my father's memorial, I remember he spoke and he introduced um, all of my father's children and um, just his warmth, his grace, um, his kindness, um, and the love that he showed um, all of us kids. Um, it's something I'll, I'll never forget, um, and uh, like my mother said, he's just one of a kind. Um, but I mean, overall, every time I saw him, just the humanity that he that he emoted was was something that is so rare. I don't think I've ever seen or been in contact with anybody that when they walked into a room, it was, you know, you know, it, there would be a hush. You know, he has so much grace and dignity and. You know. you get, do you think he gets all of this? Because I saw the documentary, and he was like the biggest long shot in the world. He wasn't even supposed right. to live. He was a premature baby, yes. and, oh. and everything bad you can think of for him to make it. So being a long shot, do you think that's what made him him? Yeah, I do, because he came from such poverty. As he said, I know, I know him very well. I know what he used to tell me. You know, he didn't have any running water. He'd never seen himself in a mirror. I haven't seen the film. I don't know if it's in there or not. But he came from a little island called Cat Island in the Bahamas, and his parents put him on a boat and shipped him here to the United States. He didn't know how to read or write. And uh, those beginnings don't necessarily dictate that you're going to become such a phenomenon. It dictates authenticity. But it, that's exactly when you have what hardship, it, you somehow are more connected to your authenticity. And I think that Sydney had complete authenticity, and it just so happened to be such grace and dignity and um, so I think he was always in touch with that true self because of his early years and I think that's part of what made him so special in my humble opinion. Well, Stanley I Kramer it, also came from Hell's Kitchen, New York mm -hmm. when it was the most I guess violent place in America to live in 1913. He came from very bad beginnings as well. To get out of Hell's Kitchen in New York he either became a priest, a prize fighter or more than not you went to jail and Stanley had to join gangs to just survive there. So his beginnings were not so great either. They both came from terrible poverty, and they both came together and made some great movies. The Defiant Ones, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, helped change the law about interracial Pressure marriage. Point. Pressure Point was a little film. But uh, they were like brothers, and I have a wonderful picture of them together, hugging, wow. and Stanley wrote, we're really brothers under the skin. And I love that picture of the two of them. So great talking to you. You passed, I mean, if we were to take a Sydney Podia test, you know everything, yes, I could tell. Pretty much, pretty much. We spent a lot of time. The mirror thing. Yes. Yes. I didn't know that. Is it in the film? Have you seen I the don't want to blow it. When this, when this video goes up, everyone yeah. I go probably see. Really? But the, the mirror thing's in the film. Well, he told me when, we, when I first met him, uh, we had dinner. And I met many times we were together. He spoke at Stanley's memorial. Every time he honored Stanley so many times with, uh, with wonderful speeches. And he came to Stanley's Centennial, was the last time I saw him. Stanley had passed away. 
and he cannot, Joanna said, you can only stay for 20 minutes. He stayed about an hour and a half. He couldn't, he didn't want to leave. He had, no, he loved, he loved it. He just said, I'm having the best time. And then just before he left, and I put him in the car, I said, Karen, he said, I wrote this beautiful speech about Stanley. Would you please read it before the movie starts tonight? So of course I did, and everybody cried. He always made me cry. His writings were so poetic. For a man who was not educated, it didn't matter. There was something more yeah, poetic, important. He was, he was very word, poetic. Absolutely, absolutely. Very yeah. poetic. And that's black, white. Yeah, black, I, know, I, got black. The, I got the memo. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of Chanel. <laughs> yes, she's Chanel. I'm a, anyway, Great so, talking to you. You too. You Thank you so much. Bye. And God bless you. God bless you too. Take Thank care. You. Bye.